Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and today is, um, I'm a little bit sad about this. Today is my last day in my first Halloween week for this year and I did pick out five palettes. I made a video last week about that and five Halloween inspired palettes that I have that I wanted to do a look with. And today we are in the last palette that is It's a Freaking Bats by Shroud and Betty Bean. I love this palette. I think it's so cool. I love the colors in it and I just think it's an amazing palette. I love it so so much. And I actually am not quite sure what I want to do. I think I want to use this zero shade. But like, more than that, I maybe got an idea. So I'm going to prime my eyes and then we hop into this. So I have done a lot of looks with, that was my hand. I've done a lot of looks with this palette. So I think that's why I have a little bit of a hard time. But I actually think that I will stay away from the green shades. I think so. Uh, because that is what I use the most in this one. So I will take Adam's and yeah, maybe this is green, but I meant like this one and these. So I will take Adam's in my crease and this palette. I love it. And I am so like <laughs> looking forward to next year because when my no buy is over, I am going to buy a Halloween, the new collab between Betty Bean and Shroud just because I think I will love that palette and okay it's now I want to be a little bit careful that I do like that I said I didn't want it to be green and this shade is <laughs> greenish so I'm taking this in my crease and this is really dark so I'm trying to tap it off and don't have too much because I don't want it to be yeah too much and it has been so so fun to have this week I have had a blast to use all of these palettes again and like doing a little bit more grungier dark looks is a favorite for me so this has been so so fun to do and like even to use the whatever palette that I don't have used that much this was also so fun and my next theme is going to be with my melt Halloween palettes and that I also think it's going to be fun. I think that I will have it like this. And I'm actually thinking of doing a whole shimmer lid. So I think I'm going to take Grim, this one, and then take Zero, this one. I don't know how that will look. What I know is that Zero is an amazing shade. I really love how this look. This Grim, I think it's the... It's this Grim or Sam that I have used the least from this palette. But okay, I'm going to take Grim, and I don't know how much I want to take. I don't think that much because the zero shade really needs its space to really like have the full potential. So I will take Grim out here. And do you know how afraid I am to use this shirt that I have on? As you can see, half of it is like cream and half of it is black. And I usually only use black clothes. One of the reasons is that I, every time I don't have anything black and eat something, I will get it on my clothes. And uh, I don't know why, that is just how I work. And this shirt I had it on when uh, I had a friend here and we went out to eat and I spilled spilled and I dropped like 
we ate sushi and I dropped like a paprika thingy and do you know where it landed? On the cream arm, not on the black arm. I, I don't know. I do really like this weather though. I think it looks really good and I do have... I don't think you can see. Uh, I have a jumpsuit over it. Just really like how it looks. I want to try to do like more fashion things on my Instagram. But I think it's so like awkward. Sometimes I've asked my boyfriend to take a picture of me when I have an outfit that I really like. But like how the hell do you pose for a picture with your whole body? I have no idea. So now I'm going to win with Sarah on the rest of my lid and I do really hope that this will look good. And of course I tried, I did swatches on my arm. Almost got it on my shirt. <laughs> Of course, but yeah, I swatched it on my arm and it looked really, really good. It does look really, really good on my eye as well. It wasn't that long ago since I did use this palette because I did a collab theme week and uh, because this is a collab palette between Shroud and Betty Bean I used this one and then I think I did a green darker look with uh, this dairy and handbook and did I love that look? Of course I did. I don't I, I don't think I ever have done a look that I don't like with this. And this is turning kind of teal, teal-ish, and that is not one of my favorite colors to do. But I do like this. And I can leave all the looks that I have done with this palette down in my description if you want some in in inspiration. And like just see what kind of looks I have done. I never think though that I have done one of these looks with this palette. That I am pretty sure of. But I. I do love this. Like this zero shade. It is amazing. And I just. Can you do a bad look with this? Okay, so I guess this is all for my lids. It feels a little bit strange though because this like teal isn't a thing that I usually do, but I think I do like it. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, then I come back and I think the hardest thing is going to use a lipstick, but I guess if I go with something kind of dark and cold tone. Maybe we will see. So I will fix my face and then I'll come back. This is the finished look. And yes, I did go <laughs> with my Rapture from Lethal Cosmetics because I do love this lipstick. For my face, I did use Ombra, Independence, and also from Nabla as always. And on my wash line, I used this one, a big splash from Colourpop. And this look, it's not a color combo that I often do because it's bluish but I actually think I do really really like it I love the zero shade this lighter shimmer and I do really love this look so I guess that I'm going to do a little review of this palette but it feels like it wasn't that long ago since I did but yeah the it's freaking bats from shroud and Betty Bean this is <laughs> It's just like I said, it's about every palette I'm using this week, but this is one of my favorite palettes. Shroud does amazing shimmers, like one of the best shimmer formulas I have ever tried. They are really creamy and they are not like getting everywhere. The only thing that I feel like people might think it's a little bit hard when it comes to Shroud, their matte shadows are really sensitive like you get a lot of kick up 
And for me, that doesn't do my base first. It works really good. But if you do your base first and then your eyes, you might need to like think about that because there is... Y you can <laughs> destroy your base. And I think the shadows are really pigmented in this one as well. The shadows, the matte ones. And I just think this is such a fun palette. It's really grungy, it's really cool. And the shimmers are the star of this palette, as always, when it comes to Shroud. But the mattes are really good as well, and they are really pigmented and really fun to play with. And I don't know with this palette, because before they did hand press the shadows, but with this one they started to machine press the shadows. And I don't know which one I have. Because I think the first ones was hand pressed with this palette or if all was machine but I think this is a machine pressed and I don't notice any difference between this one and my other shop palette so yeah and this is still restocking it came out I think it must have been a year ago it came out and they said like it's a limited edition but we're going to restock it as long as people want it and I do you love that the brow trout and I think they're going to do the same about Halloween, the new palette as well. See, I love everything about this palette. And I guess that was all for this video and for this week. It has been so fun to play with my Halloween inspired palettes and do some darker looks. And I just have thought that this has been a really fun theme. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!